and quality inspection systems for manufacturers globally. Together, the two companies provide visibility and improved productivity by tracking work and process assets and materials in real time. So we're going to get started in uh, just a second here. Okay, great. So again, welcome. Today we're going to present the Windblade Manufacturing, How to Create Smart Connected Factory. We will discuss which concrete steps Windblade manufacturers can take to turn their operations into a smart connected factory. The webinar will consist of two speakers today. And first, we will have Amir Benassa, VP of Product Marketing and Product Strategy with Platane. So Amir is responsible for Platane's product strategy and global marketing. He has over 20 years of experience in launching and managing software solutions, focusing on the manufacturing and industrial sectors. Some of Amir's previous experience includes senior positions such as Siemens and Stanley Black & Decker. Uh, so our second speaker is uh, Sean Francis, and he's from the Vertec team, and he's the senior group product manager. Uh, Sean has uh, been at Vertec for the last nine years, and basically researching the use of laser projection in a variety of manufacturing environments, including wind blade manufacturing, with the focus on maximizing cost savings. So again, I want to welcome both of our speakers today. And just a few guidelines here just before uh, we do get started. I just wanted to recommend uh, that you do, do turn your Zoom uh, ratio to 100% just for that clearest uh, resolution. Um, if you do have any questions, um, you can see here with the red arrow, the Q&A box. Um, if you mind, uh, please uh, putting your questions in there and we will collect them towards the end of the presentation. Um, and we will, of course, uh, uh, ask both Sean and Amir for uh, the answers to those questions. So without further ado, I'd like to hand the stage to Amir. Thank you, Andrea, and hello, everyone. Um, now, before I start, a quick word about the team. We uh, develop an industrial IoT software for manufacturing optimization, offering uh, AI-driven actionable insights and recommendations and our solution suite includes applications for digital assistance around scheduling, asset tracking, cutting optimization, and supply chain collaboration. And as you can see, our solutions are deployed at leading manufacturers in the Wimbley Industries, company like TPI and Aerocon, and also aerospace industry uh, customers, as well as other industries. Now, if we look on recent year trends, the wind blade manufacturing market is growing dramatically in the last few years. And, you know, basically with the rapid growth comes competition and comes pressure to reduce costs and run more efficient operations. And we'll discuss both the challenges in today's webinar, but also what are the tools and solutions that can help you cope with those challenges. The fourth industrial revolution holds great possibilities. Now, in essence, industry four is the trend towards automation, data exchange in manufacturing technologies, and, you know, automating processes. In other words, you know, investing in cloud computing, cognitive computing, and AI. Um, here you can see two charts. On the left, basically uh, uh, you can see all the potential savings around productivity, agility, and customization. And basically since we are a partner of McKinsey for the industry for practice, I'm happy to share those uh, uh, data with you today. And you can see some staggering, staggering numbers around, you know, factory output uh, increase, anything between 10 and 200%, uh, production, uh, productivity increase, anything between five to 100%, and so on and so forth. But the chart you can see on the right also explains that, you know, the strategy of, you know, sitting on the fence is not really ideal. 
because the benefits that the uh, um, market leaders will gain, the early adapters will be much higher than the uh, followers and the laggards. So we meet with hundreds of manufacturers every year and there is a great will to innovate, to implement industry for technologies. But at the same time, we hear some concerns and let's you know, touch on, on those concerns. First of all, you know, how do I connect to my legacy enterprise system, to my ERP, to my CAD and PLM? Uh, second, will my operators successfully adopt those tools? Are, there, are those tools easy to use? How do I quantify the savings against you know, the cost of sensors, against the cost of machines and software? And you know, finally, um, within the manufacturing industry, it is not an option to disrupt productions and operations, right? So how can I implement those changes and, and put in those improvements without disrupting operations? So the wind blade industry has some unique challenges that you know, both Platane and Vertec take into account when we developed our products. And let's see some of those. Uh, um, first one is we're talking about a dynamic factory with multiple work cells. There's uh, uh, an issue around uh, demand coordination and there are some resources that potentially could be bottlenecks. If we're talking about overhead cranes, if we're talking about cutting machines, large, you know, non-redundant lifting fixtures, uh, material delivery from stock, forklifts, human resources, then obviously you need to plan your schedule to make sure that there are no production delays and you deliver on time. Uh, in addition, there is the constant need to reduce operational cost and drive further efficiencies. Now in the following chart, we see that with the recent trends of you know, having larger blades, there is an increased potential to save cost because those two goes hand by hand. Um, another unique uh, uh, cutting requirements goes around those large pieces, the large plies. Some of them are heavy, so two people will need to carry them. Uh, Kitting as plies with particular order needs to be taken care of. And in addition to those large pieces, there are many small pieces that you need to fit together in order to make a perfect layout. On top of that, you have process interdependencies. And as you can see in the slide, there are several departments involved in the manufacturing process. There's the engineering, you know, the cutting and kitting, and the lab operators. So how do you put everything into place? Um, basically, collaboration between teams is really crucial and I'll be talking about some software tools that enable this collaboration with streamlining the current processes. Um, the last challenge I'm going to mention is around rework and repairs. We have them from time to time and uh, many of our customers indicate how hard it is to create repair parts, the dependency on the engineering departments in addition, the recuts are usually made by hand without any optimization. And that, of course, leads to unnecessary waste of material and engineering resources. So let's move to what is a smart factory and how can we deploy smart tools and software that will take you to the next level.
Basically, the concept behind industry four is all about taking managerial decisions that are data driven. So on the first step, you are tracking key resources, their status, their location and conditions. And we have the sensors and the tools to do that today. On top of that, you allocate jobs to resources to maximize their capacity and output. You constantly run an update with real-time data collected from the factory floor related to the actual state of the factory and the progress of the work orders. And finally, you use that data to reschedule jobs to optimize uh, your operations and improve efficiency and the total output. Now, this is a repeatable process because as you continue with your manufacturers, as there are some changes coming from urgent orders, from delayed orders, from things that are happening on the factory floor, um, as long as you collect that information, as long as those sensors are active and provide that data, you're able to deploy those uh, uh, software tool and basically to re-optimize your schedules, to re-optimize your operations and stay on top of things. Let's look at some of the uh, key features for our solutions for the wind bed manufacturing sector and other industries. First one is to create and update your production schedule. And we'll talk about that. Generate optimized cut plans that can help you save material and increase your profitability. Automate production processes, basically to shorten time uh, to market and minimize manual errors driven from paperwork and manual operations. Um, track material tools and parts to reduce delays and improve your overall efficiency. Improve quality and process control, and basically to connect sites and suppliers. Since we're in the cloud, we'd like to take advantage of that and uh, uh, to share the information among sites, manufacturing sites, and among suppliers. So let's look at the, our production schedule app. Basically, it's an inter interactive Gantt. You can see the uh, task list and that you need to uh, uh, put to the various resources and assign them to the various stations. There's um, both an auto scheduling mechanism that allows you to do that uh, uh, very quickly and save a lot of time for the planner. But on top of that, the planner can use some powerful manual tools to adjust the schedule and to uh, uh, put some of his uh, preference into the schedule. And that tool allows you to stay on top of things, to continuously optimize the schedule and basically quickly react to anything changing or going on the factory floor. On top of that, we are you know, providing dashboards, uh, planned versus actual reports, um, so you can stay on top of things. Uh, Material asset tracking, very important to understand the status and location of objects, critical assets on the factory floor that allows you to further optimize and not waste time on searching for things. Um, so, you know, tracking those assets, uh, run paperless processes and get real time notifications if anything happens, if there's a delay on an operation or if an asset needs to be at a certain station and that asset is missing. Uh, and of course, those delays and those alerts, I'm sorry, could be uh, uh, fully configured. Um, very important part is to know exactly the uh, uh, status progress of the uh, various workers. So if you put things in old systems that are siloed. If you update Excel files, then obviously the uh, uh, deficiencies that other workers and staff cannot see what you've reported and are not up to date with what's going on. Uh, the big advantage of you know, a cloud software is the minute an operator um, reports that it starts an operation or finished an operation, 
the entire um, staff is acknowledged and, and all the other systems, um, you know, sort of know about it. And that includes your ERP system and other systems. So basically, um, very important to track the uh, uh, progress of, of, you know, the workers. Uh, very important to have fully digital processes to save time, uh, you know, and, and manual collection of, of status of things, and to make sure that everything is digitally stored and up to date. So actually, what we see here is that you gain complete asset visibility over the blades, materials, tools, modes, and workers. What you can see here in that view is that you see, um, you know, all the stations in the factories. So you get a holistic view of how many assets and work orders you have in, in every station. If you have an alert or something, you know, went bad, you can see that red icon there and you can double click on that and see uh, what it is and handle it. And of course, this is a dynamic view. If you would like to go into a cutting station or into a layup station, you can double click that and, and see the details of, you know, that specific workstation. So um, let's talk about, you know, cutting optimization, uh, um, anything around material saving, because if you cut tons of, of uh, uh, fiberglass and expensive composite material for the infrastructure of the blades, uh, then obviously every percentage of savings means a huge impact on your bottom line and the overall uh, profitability. So um, basically, Let's talk about the value of this holistic approach. If you're using just um, library nests and you're cutting the same things all the time, obviously your organization is not dynamic. What you should do is consider a holistic approach and, and the big picture, considering you know, your material inventory, what are the plans and the incoming work orders, what are the CAD design and engineering constraints, but also get some feedback from the shop floor. And this is why we call it total production optimization, because you consider you know, everything in your factory and then your optimization and the uh, level of material utilization is, uh, um, is really uh, um, significant. Uh, so we're talking about here, you know, optimizing the cutting plans, uh, considering the unique restrictions, um, getting the most recent, uh, recent cut versions. We've heard of many customers that use, you know, not the latest and greatest cut revision or DXF revision, ended up with waste and, and rework and scrap. Um, repair parts should be handled on the fly very efficiently. And of course, uh, the recut optimization is something that I'll talk about in a minute. Now, what we see in the following chart is that it is important to drive material costs down, but in some cases, if you do that you know, too much, then your operational cost may go up. So the important thing is to find that sweet spot as you can see on the graph, when we optimize not only the material cost, but the total cost uh, uh, driven by both material cost and the operational cost. And so let's see how do we find that sweet spot when we're working with our customers. So we have the tools and the configuration to basically uh, um, balance between the material savings and the production floor constraints. We take into account, you know, the nesting internal holes, uh, re-nest and recuts, mixing uh, uh, capabilities, but also the operational sides with uh, adopting sectional nesting, nest lengths, and applying all sorts of rules to make sure that we stay in that sweet spot. Um, here you can see an example of the uh, mixed sectional nesting with filler parts, right? So what we do is we know how to 
insert those small pieces, um, you know, among the large pieces and give you um, further material savings. In this example, we see that, you know, originally the consumed material is 77.9 meters or yards. And basically, um, when you do a very efficient nesting uh, program, you can save around 5% and get it down using sectional nesting algorithms to 73.75 meters. Now, think about the tons of material you cut every year and think about 5% of that that could be saved and you immediately get the idea behind the uh, um, profitability increase that we can offer. Now, in many cases, you're cutting and you're left with a short roll or a remnant. And what we're doing is instead of letting the uh, um, factory staff manage all those short rolls and keeping track of them and understanding which jobs could be cut from those uh, uh, short pieces of material, why don't you let the software handle this task and basically understand what are the, the options to you know, uh, assign those small pieces, as you can see on the uh, uh, bottom right uh, screen, um, and make sure that you, the dynamic remnant utilization is dramatically improved. There are many pieces that basically are thrown away because um, they're not being utilized. But when you let the software handle that task, then you can utilize all your short walls and your remnants. Um, repair parts are handled on the fly. You don't need to wait for a CAD engineer to basically you know, uh, uh, design that for you. You can just input the X, Y dimensions of whatever you need to cut, and you can very quickly uh, put that into your uh, schedule and into the cutting plan. Now, reports are very important. Um, basically, you get, you know, the big picture, you get all the information that you need in order to operate. But also you, we have here some factory flow reports for the staff. So on the right, you can see here the ply weight and, and all the information that the operator needs in order to do the cutting, the kidding and the bagging and all uh, what the, those guys need to do. So um, this is very useful for both managers, but also for the operators. Um, this is just to show you how much we, you know, deeply understand all the details and requirements in the wind blade um, uh, industry. And even the text alignment and annotations could be left to right, right to left, depending on the, you know, how you open the role. And we have, you know, quite many configurations, options and settings to make sure that, you know, every manufacturer and every factory gets uh, exactly the things that uh, they require. Now, I mentioned that our software is fully cloud-based. It means that you don't need to install it. It means that you can deploy it remotely and very quickly and instantly. But it also means that you can share information between sites. So if you cut um, the kits and plies in one site and then you lay up and assemble them in another site, those sites can share the digital thread, they can share the history, uh, uh, details of the manufacturing process. And basically, um, um, you don't need to send over papers and, and those thick books with, with uh, uh, the documentation of the manufacturing process. In addition, you can compa compare the processes and, and uh, the different sites uh, by getting reports and what happens in each site and based on that, you know, one site can learn from the success of the other sites. So to summarize the benefits, we're talking about very significant material savings. We're seeing anything, you know, between uh, 
four to eight uh, percent, uh, which, if you think about it, it's it's huge. It's a huge impact on your profitability. Uh, we're talking about faster time to market uh, of the new models, the new parts, the new blades. Uh, instead of weeks, in a matter of hours and days, you can introduce the manufacturing of the new design. Increased throughput and staff efficiency, um, manufacturing yield and return on investment. And of course, you know, having a digital thread of the part and process traceability is extremely important to analyze what happened. I've put here a couple of case studies, but you know, since we're short of time, um, you know, please text me on the uh, uh, message box and we can send them over. I'll just say that you know, in the first example, um, the uh, average saving was around five to seven percent according to the uh, project. Um, we've done a tremendous job of uh, improved utilization of short walls that also contributed to the uh, material savings and basically um, streamlined a lot of the processes we talked about between the different departments, the, the, the CAD engineers and the cutting and the uh, lab operators. Uh, elimination of errors and increased quality. On the second case study, you see here uh, a different uh, uh, material saving scale of over uh, 3%, that was 4 to 5%. It varies from one factory to another, but still quite impressive. Uh, and again, an improvement in the uh, uh, quality processes, uh, repair panels, revision verification, and all sorts of uh, uh, processes and areas for improvement. So again, I'm sorry that I'm, I don't have time to get more into those case studies, but you know, uh, if you would like us to uh, uh, be engaged and to answer more questions around those case studies, you know, just contact us and we'll be happy to share more information with you. So that concludes my part. Uh, to you, Sean. Thanks, Amir. Uh, well, first of all, I want to say thank you very much for taking the time to join us on the webinar. Uh, I'd also like to take a second to introduce a little bit about Vertec so you're familiar with us. Um, Vertec delivers laser solutions that use projected laser lines to guide manual assembly and inspection. Uh, we've been around since 1986 and have delivered over 15,000 laser systems uh, to 44 countries around the globe. Uh, Vertex is recognized as the industry leader in laser projection, and our solutions have the lowest cost of ownership uh, due largely to our proven reliability. Uh, next slide, please, Vicky. Also, uh, we've been very lucky, and we're proud to have had the opportunity to work with many of the industry leaders in wind blade manufacturing and over many years have proven ourselves to be a reliable partner. Next slide. Yeah, thank you. So diving in, what does laser projection do? Um, well, laser projection, of course, is used to place accurately measured reference lines onto the surface of the mold. These lines can be used to show ply boundaries for accurate positioning of each ply. Uh, ply boundaries can also be used for inspection. We can project as well other reference positions such as center lines, uh, which are projected with accuracy and provide clear visual assistance during fabrication. Um, in addition uh, to ply placement, laser projection can be used to guide the positioning of other internal structures uh, such as core, spar caps, shear webs, et cetera. Um, with clear laser guidelines presented directly on the mold teams are able to focus on the work at hand rather than uh, measuring manual trimming, et cetera, completing assembly more quickly and ensuring that every step is completed in sequence. This drives improved quality and reduced rework, which amplifies the cost savings of reduced manufacturing time. Next slide. Um, Vertec is unique in the industry. We've delivered a new technology called Flash Align. 
Flash Align takes advantage of an integrated vision system to guide the setup and alignment of each laser, which is a part of the system. Traditional systems uh, require that operators actually teach target locations, which can be time consuming and error prone. Um, Flash Align eliminates that teaching of target locations. Um, and our technology actually measures the target locations or uses the laser to measure the target locations much more quickly, an order of magnitude more quickly than traditional systems in market. All of that means that operators can get to work on the task at hand and not take time working with the laser system. The laser system simply guides them to do the work that they need to get done. Um, Vertec lasers also have the lowest cost of ownership in the industry. There are fewer projectors required for each mold than with other systems. Most importantly, Vertec has demonstrated exceptional reliability over our long history. Next slide. We've, uh, Flash Align is an example of where we've invested in research and development. Another important area where we've invested a lot of R&D dollars is our uh, high visibility laser. The high visibility laser delivers the brightest beam possible within the low risk class 3R laser safety classification. But that is only part of the investment we've made in maximizing beam visibility. Vertec has also developed long range optics, excuse me, long range optics, which optimize the beam focus over longer distances. Longer distances means a larger area of coverage, area of coverage, which is critically important on such large surfaces as a wind blade. Um, we've also invested in a uniquely capable autofocus system with each projector. Uh, this optimizes the beam focus for every single projection. You know, at the end of the day, it's quite simple. Being able to see the beam and stay safe is critical. Um, and of course, accuracy matters. As beam blade sizes have increased, uh, tolerances are actually becoming tighter. Having reliable accuracy that you can count on, such as Vertec has proven over the years, is critical. Next slide. Uh, next slide. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Vicky. Uh, of course, uh, we are pro providing an end-to-end -end solution. We have easy-to-use software that minimizes operator training requirements. Uh, we have proven reliable hardware that stood the test of time. And we have a modular system. Vertec supports multitasking which allows a single set of projectors and a single piece of software to support multiple independent workflows. This is critical in wind blade manufacturing, of course, because you have the two sides of the mold which require independent work activity uh, at the same time in parallel. We also provide a variety of off-the-shelf and custom stand solutions. Next slide. Vertec has a global service team ready to help with any questions that may arise, including at the outset, helping to design your system. We can even provide, of course, on-site service for installation, maintenance, and training. Next slide. Platin and Vertec have worked together to connect their systems. Platane's TPO connects directly with Vertex systems. This enables the extraction of production status information in real time. Pulling the information back into TPO enables better decision-making, driving efficiencies that extend beyond blade fabrication to both upstream and downstream processes. Some examples of this would include perhaps cutting, kitting, and even scheduling the crane for mold closure. These are just a couple of examples uh, of process that can be improved and made more efficient with the integration of Vertec and Platane. Uh, next slide. So just a quick example 
uh, on a scaled down model, what you see right away is the benefit of flash align. The operator can open the work order and right away the system automatically aligns and goes directly to projection. You can see the projector active already. Once, on, uh, once active, an operator can work directly on the surface of the tool to control the laser projection. This is particularly important when you have such huge blades and it's a, an impediment for operators to walk back to the controlling computer. Another useful feature is focus of attention, which allows you to focus the energy of the laser beam in the area of interest. And that focus of attention can be done with a simple bit of retroreflective sticker. Another important feature is the simplified UI, uh, making sure that the, both the administrative and the operator user interface are streamlined and simplified ensures that minimal operator training is required and errors are, are reduced. In this case, you've seen me walk the projector back doubling the projection distance. Right away, the system aligns and restores projection. In this case, what I'm demonstrating is that autofocus I spoke about just a moment ago, where we have that continued, sharp, perfect focus, at, even at double the distance. And it also is another example of that, how quickly it is and easy it is to align the system, even when the projector's moved, which won't happen uh, in the case of wind blades, but it is critical to get that simplistic, easy to use alignment. Another key feature that I'm demonstrating here is the use of multitasking. You can see that I've simply opened a second window and activated uh, another tool for an independent workflow. Again, an example similar to that high pressure side, low pressure side activity going on the two molds. So I think that covers just about everything that I was hoping to cover with the demo. Um, and maybe we'll skip ahead to the next slide. Um, separately, Platane and Vertex Solutions deliver industry leading cost savings to the wind blade manufacturing process. But together, Platane and Vertex provide a winning solution that takes cost savings to the next level. Next slide, and, and that's everything I was hoping to cover today. And I did want to say again, thank you very much for taking the time uh, to join us and learn a little bit about Vertec and Platane Solution tailored to the wind industry. Thank you, Sean, very much. Uh, so we're at question time. So uh, we're definitely excited to, to answer any questions that you may have. So I just wanted to remind everyone uh, that you can do so on the bottom right hand side of your screen where you see the Q&A. Um, we will collect a couple of the questions there. And um, just before we do, I'll let some of those questions kind of start coming in here. And just wanted to say again, thank you. Um, you know, of course, we'd like to stay in touch. There's multiple ways that you can do so. Um, at the bottom of the screen, uh, there are our speakers' email addresses that you can reach out to them directly. And of course, uh, we can set up a virtual meeting. Um, you know, with, with any of you to discuss your challenges and goals. Um, and we also have um, a, a series of in-house webinars that we are running and Platane is running their 4.0 series, which this WIND webinar is a part of. Um, Vertec also offers um, some direct uh, webinars as well. Uh, we also have the ability to do a remote demonstration uh, to show you the, the lasers live, just like we did today. Um, so we'd be happy to do so. Um, so just uh, taking a moment here to look at some of the questions. Uh, just one moment. Okay, um, so here's one uh, for Amir. Okay, so the question is, how is the implementation done these days? Uh, considering the travel restrictions, could it be implemented remotely? So question uh, for Amir, please. Thank you, Andrea. Um, so yes, we're all aware to the fact that it's uh, hard to travel and there are some restrictions. Uh, fortunately, we have very good experience with remote deployments. We had uh, some 
great uh, success of implementing our, our cloud software completely remotely. Recent one is Alestis of Brazil, and there was a press release in the matter. And basically it allows us to deploy remotely, train the uh, factory staff using uh, uh, Zoom uh, tools and, and WebEx, and basically very smoothly hand it over without um, you know, doing site visits and complying with the restrictions that we have today. Okay, thank you, Amir. Uh, Sean, actually, I, I guess you could also answer uh, that question too, for, I guess from the Vertex side of things, uh, could we also do this type of uh, remote uh, installation, if you will? Yeah, Andrea, thanks for asking. Um, with, with the uh, descent of COVID, we've been forced to develop some great, uh, some great systems that allow us to support remote support and remote installations and configurations. Although we do have a strong hardware component to our, our systems. So we have in-country resources uh, virtually everywhere around the globe uh, that can uh, be on-site and provide that uh, critical on-site hardware installation support. However, uh, we've had great success, even with hardware installation and configuration uh, with remote support over the last several months. Okay, great. Thank you, Sean. Uh, another question here we have, uh, this looks like for Amir. Uh, so we already have an ERP solution. What added value can you deliver? So that's a, qu a great question. And actually we complement the ERP system. The ERP system would take a global approach on the uh, planning, you know, for several months and, you know, managing the resources, uh, the incoming material, the work orders. But in many cases, uh, there is a gap. And in the factory floor, uh, staff would use Excel and some uh, paperwork and tools. And our goal here is to connect to the ERP system to provide with uh, advanced digital assistance and recommendation and some AI tools that would analyze the situation, get the information from the ERP, but will recommend you to use this material for that job and to uh, uh, optimize your cutting plans or to make your schedule for the crane more efficient. And those things the ERP will not do for you. Uh, so actually, we complement the ERP. We are, you know, an SAP partner, and we are partnering with, with other companies. We are, um, you know, have the experience to integrate to those systems, uh, whether this is a file-based integration or a, a more deep, uh, um, you know, API-based integration. But in any case, the uh, quick answer is that we complement the ERP and add uh, uh, the value for the customer, eliminating the use of Excel and paper. Okay, thank you, Amir. Um, and I, I've got uh, another one here. So I think Amir, this one's also for you. So what sort of training is needed at the plant to use these systems? Is there a certification needed to implement the systems? Thank you for that question. Thank you. So basically the training needed is, you know, for the various operators of, of how to use the, uh, the system. It's um, a very easy to use system. So we're talking about minutes and hours to uh, get hold of, you know, how you select things and how you uh, uh, use the functionality. Regarding the certifications, we have an ISO certifications for, you know, the, the, the security uh, of information stored in the cloud and everything around those processes. Um, and basically, uh, um, this is the certification that we have. I'm not sure, Sean, maybe you should comment a little bit about the certification uh, related to the laser projectors and, and you know, your technology. Sure. Um, uh, each, each laser that leaves the Vertex plant, plant excuse me, is certified uh, using a highly accurate uh, tool, which is, fills the field of view and ensures that every laser deliver, delivered is optimized. We also have processes available for in-field recertification, uh, tools that allow you to 
uh, recertify the laser system on some regular period, such as annually. Uh, that's common practice for many of our customers. Might also be useful to speak a little bit to system accuracy. Um, I know that's been a question for some people, and I think I'm seeing one uh, come in here on accuracy. Uh, typically, accuracy is related to the distance between the laser and the tool. And oftentimes, uh, in uh, wind factories, the lasers are mounted at roughly 12 meters, 10 to 12 meters, or 30 or so feet from the surface of the tool. With that kind of a projection distance, uh, we expect accuracies uh, around 30 thousandths of an inch or three quarters 0.75 millimeters. So uh, excellent accuracy, again, well within the tolerances required. Andrea, an other question? Okay, great. Yeah, great. Thank you, Sean. Um... So I've got one more here. Uh, I know you did talk a little bit about, um, I think you both did actually, uh, about ROI, but, but Sean, what is, or how fast can we expect to see uh, kind of an ROI on the systems? So uh, Andrea, I think every installation is unique with ROI. And uh, we have a system that we have in place that allows our applications team to work with each customer individually focus and uh, step through a series of uh, gathering data, specific data that delivers a clear ROI customized for every implementation. I think typical ROIs are, uh, can be even less than a year or slightly greater than a year uh, would not be uncommon. But I hope you'll give us the opportunity to have one of our team members work closely with you in your implementation to develop a site-specific ROI for you. That's great, Sean, thank you. Amir, did you want to have an opportunity to answer that question also? Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, basically, uh, we're talking about you know, tremendous material savings that could be benchmarked and calculated in advance. Uh, we would take a week or a day of production, a typical production, and analyze together with the customers what is the potential for savings. And you know, anything between the 4% to 8% I mentioned earlier could be put uh, uh, very directly against the cost of the solution. And in many cases, we, uh, we simply see a, a very quick ROI of, of you know, a few months. Now, if you add to that the uh, um, process automation and improvements, you know, um, increasing the quality and removing production delays, then obviously that puts, um, you know, a, even a quicker ROI. Perfect, great, yes, absolutely. Every, every situation is going to be <laughs> unique, that's for sure. Uh, so just want to clarify, I believe, uh, just really quick back to the, the training question. Uh, so just kind of a secondary to that was certification of the operator expertise and using the system. So I think this was related back to the certific certification question. Um, so I believe Amir, I don't know if you want to uh, elaborate on, on that. You know, from our perspective, uh, um, the staff does not uh, need to have a specific uh, uh, qualification. Um, so, um, the, the, you know, there's no certification uh, uh, required that we have all levels of, you know, factory staff using uh, very successfully our software. And, you know, I'm not sure about, I'll, I'll, you know, allow Sean to, to answer about, you know, operating the laser devices. Um, but from our perspective, you know, uh, um, just the short training will certify the person and we don't require extra uh, certification. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you, Amir. Answering, so, the, question, go go answering the question earlier uh, regarding certification, I spoke about our hardware, but speaking about uh, operators using the system and administrators, we do offer training, training services, excuse me, both uh, on-site and remote. And uh, as, as Amir suggested, a brief training 
uh, will get operators and administrators up to speed in no time. We typically do that uh, in half day sessions um, and it, uh, we're well equipped to do that. And, and as, as I hope was demonstrated in the little video demo that we did, it's incredibly simple to use. So training, training requirements are minimal. Okay, great. Thank you, Sean. Uh, yeah, definitely important to note the hardware and, and the software side. So thank you for elaborating on that. So I will just take one more uh, question here. And uh, again, you can actually probably both uh, answer this question. Um, is there a more technical uh, demonstration, uh, again, on the systems? Um, Sean, I, obviously, I, I know you did show uh, the lasers in action, which is great. Um, so I guess for you, is there um, a way that people can contact Vertec to go a little bit, uh, do a deeper dive um, through a technical demonstration? Uh, Vertec has a dedicated applications team that delivers pre-sale support. Uh, they can work directly with any uh, customer or prospect to streamline and customize the system design and provide remote demos uh, and uh, barring COVID travel restrictions, even on-site demos to really delve a little bit deeper into technical questions that might exist around implementation and use. Okay, perfect. Same goes for Platane. We'll be very happy that you uh, contact us and we could, you know, uh, come on site, whether that's in the US, Europe, or Asia, or of course, uh, um, deliver a, uh, a, a Zoom session where we can uh, go deeper into a uh, product presentation. We'll hear from you what are your areas of interest, and we will show you. Uh, those digital assistants and those applications that you're interested in. So that's definitely possible. And you know, feel free to uh, email me or, or contact us uh, uh, in any way. Okay, great. So again, uh, thank you so much for, for answering those questions. Thank you for those that uh, uh, presented those questions to us. Uh, we would like to, to wrap up today. And again, one last time, thank you all for attending. Uh, we will also have a recorded version of this webinar. If you'd like to share this with um, your colleagues and what have you, they will be available on both of our websites. Uh, so theblatane.com and vertecvision.com. Uh, so again, uh, thank you again for joining. We look forward to seeing you on our next webinar series. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye now.